A breakthrough decision is made by the Texas Supreme Court allowing a jailed salon owner to be released after she was arrested for violating the state's virus restrictions. Here's One America's Dana Alexa. The now closely watched case of jail Texas hair salon owner has come full circle after the state Supreme Court issues a writ for her release. Thursday, all nine Republican judges on the Texas Supreme Court ordered officials to release Shelley Luther, challenging her incarceration as improper. This after Governor Greg Abbott issued an executive order eliminating jail time as a consequence for violating the state's coronavirus restrictions retroactively to April 2nd. In a statement, Abbott said criminals shouldn't be replaced to prevent COVID-19 just to put business owners in their place. Luther was thrown behind bars without bail for keeping her salon open to the public after strict lockdown orders were put in place. But now a free woman giving thanks to those who have stood by her. Thank you guys so much. I'm a little overwhelmed and I don't want to scare the kids. I'm okay, but... I just want to thank all of you who I just barely met and now you're all my friends. You mean so much to me, and this would have been nothing without you. Luther was given three choices from a judge after her arrest. She could offer an apology for, quote, selfishness, pay a fine and shut down until Friday, May 8th, or serve jail time. And although a controversial move, Luther refused to apologize. I have to disagree with you, sir, when, I, when you say that I'm selfish, because feeding my kids is not selfish. I have hairstylists that are going hungry because they'd rather feed their kids. So, sir, if you think the law is more important than kids getting fed, then please go ahead with your decision, but I am not going to shut the salon. The event gained national coverage, prompting Texas politicians to come to her defense. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick covered Luther's $7,000 fine and even volunteered to be placed under house arrest so she can go to work and provide for her children. Even President Trump weighing in, commenting on how reopening the state can help a lot of people. She looked so great, so professional, so good. Then she was talking about, you know, her children. She has to feed her children. It was great. And we could do things ministerially through executive order or otherwise that can help a lot of people. Dana Alexa, One America News.